I do not think that the UK is any closer to leaving uh, the EU and I think it's very important that we have the UK in the European Union as a fully fledged member state. The market economy reforms, the reforms to the internal market that the United Kingdom supports is something that we should all strive for because after all the European Union is based on the free movement of goods, services, labour and money. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, so what do you wish Georgia? What do I wish Georgia? Good luck. Uh, the, the stability and growth pact should be based on two pillars. Stability first. It needs no more flexibility. This whole financial crisis had its start with uh, the opening of the stability and growth pact. Second, growth. We can do three things with growth. One is structural reform at home, two is the liberalization of the internal market, and three is free trade. We should not create an illusion that we as state actors or politicians can create growth. Growth is created by enterprises, entrepreneurs and workers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. I think, first of all, we need to build some bridges. I think it's very important that the programme that Juncker puts forward is very market-oriented. The UK has been calling for economic reform, and I support that very strongly. We need to focus on the internal market. We need to focus on free trade. We need to focus on the free movement of goods, services, labour and money. Do you acknowledge though, that the defeat for David Cameron on this issue could actually tip the balance as far as the perception of UK membership in the <coughs> EU going forward? I don't think the EU is a zero-sum game where you lose or gain. I think David Cameron is a very principled man and he has felt strongly uh, that Juncker is a little bit too federalist for his liking. But I think we can all make men's. I think we can all solve the situation. Uh, and I think in the UK, uh, some people really seriously need to wake up and smell the coffee. The European Union is a very good thing for the United Kingdom. Over 50% of the trade of the UK goes to the EU. If that were to be cut off, I think the continent would be cut off seriously. Can I also ask about the situation right now in the east of Ukraine? Do you think we've seen enough of a de-escalation there to justify no further sanctions on Russia? Well, I had a breakfast meeting, a uh, bilateral breakfast meeting this morning with President Poroshenko, and he felt very strongly uh, about the sanctions. It's important that we keep up the pressure. At the same time, it's very important that we, have, we find the right balance. I think there are good news in terms of the dialogue between Putin and Poroshenko. I think there's good news with the ceasefire. But the bad news is that the border is still unstable. There are uh, over 20 deaths. Uh, during the ceasefire, so we need to find a solution to this, but so far so good. The ceasefire isn't holding though, as you quite rightly said there, the separatists are completely disobeying it. How do we move forward? Was he talking about harsher sanctions? Uh, he was not talking about harsher sanctions, but he was talking about keeping up the pressure on sanctions.